Welcome, and thank you for clicking on this video. In this edition of Base vs. Base, we have the Squire by Fender Mini Precision Base, and we're going to put that up to the Ibanez Micro GSRM20. Here we go. So both of these bases feature a 28.6 inch scale length, and that's measured from the saddle to the nut. They both have poplar bodies, and they both have maple necks, made it to the body with a four bolt bolt-on design. The fingerboards are different. On the Squire Mini P, we have a Laurel fingerboard, whereas on the Ibanez Micro, we have a Jatoba fingerboard. In terms of electronics, the Squire Mini P has a single precision style uh, pickup, and it's a completely passive bass with controls of volume and tone. The Ibanez Micro, however, is a PJ setup. It is also completely passive, but the controls are volume for the neck, volume for the bridge, then master tone. It should also be noted that the Ibanez Micro has a reverse P configuration. The bridges are also different. The Squire has a pretty standard fender looking bent steel bridge, whereas the Ibanez has a more modern looking bridge. It's not of the high mass variety, but the saddles do look a little beefier. But most importantly, how did these sound? Let's find out. We're gonna put both of these bases through a variety of different uh, playing uh, styles, uh, tempos, and tone settings. In the first one, we're gonna have a more finger style funky number, and we'll have the tone knob on both of these bases at 25%. To keep it fair, we are only gonna use the precision style pickup in both of these bases. Here we go. For the second playing example, we're going to venture into a heavier rock type uh, groove. We're going to have the tone knob at around 75% in both of these bases. And again, we're only going to run the P style pickup. Here we go.
For the third and final playing example, we're going to put some foam underneath the strings back by the bridge, and we're going to try to play a Motown style groove. We're going to have the tone knob at 75% on both bases. Here we go. I hope you enjoyed those playing examples. Please leave some comments below about which ones you like the best. Now, for this head-to-head -head comparison. In the finger style uh, example, I think I enjoyed the clarity uh, of the notes more on the squire. I think the notes just popped out a little bit more and there's a little bit more bite to the note. Whereas it sounded relatively more dull on the micro. On the heavier rock example, however, I thought the beefier bottom end found on the micro was more pleasing to my ear. At higher tone knob settings on the Squire, it, the upper mid-range can get slightly more harsh and a little more clanky. So I think on the heavier rock example, the micro is going to win that one. On the Motown example, I think it's probably about the same. And uh, if I were blindfolded, I'm not entirely confident I can tell those two apart on this type of recording. I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video that the neck dimensions are slightly different. The Squire Mini Piece neck is ever so slightly smaller than the one found on the Micro, both width and depth wise. Measured at the fifth fret, the Mini P's depth is around 18 millimeters, whereas if you measured at the fifth fret on the Micro, it's just shy of 20. If you were to measure the fingerboard width at the 12th fret, the mini P bass comes in at just a hair over 49 millimeters, whereas it's just about 50 millimeters on the micro. So the neck on the Squire is ever so slightly smaller. Another influencer about which bass you may want to consider buying is the appearance of it. Now I know appearances are not everything, and certainly I am definitely a function over form type of guy, However, the iconic precision shape can blend in just about in any musical situation. The more modern looking Ibanez may or may not. That would be entirely subjective and up to you. Which one would I buy? I'm a little torn on this one. I find the micro to be a little more comfortable to play, the shape of it just Tend, uh, tends to fit my body a little bit better, and I like the slightly larger neck on the micro. However, maybe the pickups are voiced differently, but I do like the slightly more aggressive uh, mid-range on the Mini P. The Mini P has less low end than the micro, but you can always add some of that with the use of EQ, judiciously, of course. So I hope you found this video helpful in helping you decide which one of these super short bases is right for you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.